first of all. Uh, yeah, we got Elon on guitar. Snuffy on guitar. Rabbit on piano. Greg Brown on bass. Alvin Taylor on drums. Don't ask me where they got the names from, I don't have any idea. I've been on the road a while now, is that correct? Yeah, well, partially, yeah. About 20 dates or so? Uh, yeah, we've been on the road for about uh, two months with uh, Grand Funk and uh, Wishbone Ash consecutively with club dates in between. Or something. In performing material from the latest album, Sun Secrets, and we talked about... Partially, partially. Okay. And we, we talked about it being a, a natural evolution type of thing. We also talked about the material, and there's a couple of older Eric Burden things. Uh, yeah, well, he is a bit older these days. <laughs> <laughs> why the reinterpretations? Uh, well, uh, I don't know. I just felt like doing it. And uh, we needed a common stomping ground to get, to get off on. And, uh, and the blues is a bit old hat, you know what I mean, to get up there and just say, okay, well, you know, 12 bars in the city or whatever, key to the highway or whatever. So, the, you know, the guys were familiar with my material and they wanted to get into some things, so we thought we'd rearrange them. You said you really depend upon these guys to get you off and hence the whole performance going. How has it been? Uh, uh, yeah, they've been getting me off. <laughs> Explain the significance, if you would, of, of the title of the LP, Sun Secrets. Uh, well, just the fact that um, from the time that I was conceived through my dear mother, um, we've run out of gas, or we're about to run out of gas. And the sun, the sun was shining when I was born, and it's still shining now. And you look to the sun for the energy of the future, huh? Yeah, and the moon to reflect it. In California now, you're living there, right? Lots of sun there, yeah. Mm. You're close to the source. Is that the reason you chose that kind of particular place to settle down? Although you ha you said you're still a, a, a citizen of Britain. Uh, yeah, that's only because I can get to North Korea, um, uh, China, uh, Cuba, and uh, certain other places on a British passport, which I can't on an American passport. And if America teaches you the business of business, and I want to take care of business and look at those countries one of these days. You made an interesting comment before, and I, I want to pick up on it. You said that you were very, very much into film, that uh, this was an end to your work. Uh, you well, know, that's, the idea is to build the group so that the group create the films, and the create the film images, instead of pick up a book like, say, Joe's, his number one bestseller, right? and get a script writer to interpret it in a, you know, add dialogue and then get some actors, you know, get, you know, Steve McQueen to play the part of the shark or whatever, you know. It's a bit, bit old hat, you know, um, I think. So mm -hmm. it would be nice to have a nuance in films where, where instead of having um, an artist uh, provide the soundtrack and uh, appear on the album cover, you know, and then have the movie be something entirely different to what is being said musically. The, art, the, the, the musician should create the film images. You said you were working on a film about Jimi Hendrix. You had a relationship with Jimi through managerial contacts and a personal relationship. Well, I am working on it. It's on ice. Um, there'll be some work done on it very sparsely, just some titles to be shot and some freeze frame work to be done in there. It has to be synced probably because it's on an interlock, 16 millimeter interlock, but we've blown it up to 35 millimeter and it looks pretty good. And um, I hope to release it when all the uh, rest of the uh, uh, scrapes and scraps out of the Electric Lady Land studio have been played. Great. We'll be looking for it. Back to more music now from the Eric Burden Band.